Hi guys, welcome to AC Technical. In this video, I am going to show you what to do if you unable to fix your PC did not start correctly error. If you have tried various troubleshooting states but are still unable to fix your PC did not start correctly error, then consider using the reset this PC or refresh your PC feature available in Windows. Refresh. This option allows you to reinstall Windows while keeping your personal files. And Reset. This option allows you to reinstall Windows removing everything and starting fresh. Note Before proceeding, try some basic and advanced fixes before refresh and reset your PC. Here I showed up some basic and advanced fixes for your PC did not start correctly error. Also the tutorial link is given in the description below. However, let's take a closer look at the procedure. On the error screen, select Advanced Options. In the Advanced Options menu, choose Troubleshoot. In the Troubleshoot Options menu, choose Reset this PC. In the Reset this PC menu, choose either Keep my files or Remove everything, depending on your preference and the severity of the issue. Please note that performing a reset or refresh will remove installed applications and may delete personal files depending on the chosen option. It's crucial to back up any important data before proceeding. Additionally, the availability and specific option may vary depending on your computer model and the version of Windows you are using. Keep my files. This option keeps your personal files but removes apps and settings, refreshing windows to improve performance and stability. Remove everything. This option removes all personal files, apps and settings, restoring windows to its factory default state. Choosing the select cloud download option during windows reset allows you to download a fresh copy of windows from Microsoft servers. This means that the operating system files required for the reset will be downloaded from the cloud rather than using the files already present on your local system. This option requires a stable internet connection. The advantage of selecting cloud download is that you can ensure you are getting the most up-to-date version of Windows, as the downloaded files will include any recent updates and patches. It can be useful if you suspect that the local system files are corrupted or outdated. On the other hand, selecting local reinstall during Windows Reset utilizes the existing Windows installation files that are already stored on your computer. This option does not require an internet connection as it relies on the files available locally. Choosing local reinstall can be beneficial if you want to reset your system but prefer not to download Windows again from the cloud. It can also be useful if you have limited or unstable internet connectivity. Follow your on-screen instructions to proceed with the reset or refresh process. You may be prompted to choose additional options such as whether to keep or remove personal files. Wait for the process to complete. It may take some time and your computer will restart several times during the reset or refresh process. Once the reset or refresh is finished, Follow your on-screen instruction to set up your computer again, including configuring user accounts and preferences. So I hope this guide was helpful for you. If you have any question or any advanced guide, then please let us know. Please like, comment, share. We need your support. And guys, please don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.